is, I think, our second year of marriage uh, with Lindsay and I. And we, we tell a story now. It wasn't as fun back then, but uh, it was our second year of marriage. Um, I was, no, sorry, it was our fourth year because I quit my job soon after. Um, we were, I was in the auditing role. Um, I wasn't happy. The, the company was great, all that, but it just wasn't, it wasn't a good fit for me. So I was, I mean, borderline depressed. I, I was not treating Lindsay uh, in the best way. And she was kind of telling me, hey, you need to do something different. Well, I just pushed it back and just said, no, I don't. Um, I was like, we need we need this money. We've, we've got to stick with it. We need this money. You know, that was my main my main goal was trying to make as much money as possible. Just just being honest. So it was December, like first December. And it was midnight and I would just gotten into bed because I'd been working late. Um, and I got into bed and then she was like, Oh, I, uh, you said you were going to clean the kitchen. And it was, I think it was 1230 for some reason. Again, it was my own failure. Um, I got very mad and I threw the covers back and I stormed into the kitchen, turned on the lights and just started cleaning at like 1230 or something like that. Um, and I just exploded. I was just so mad. I was so done just because I had all this built up emotion and, I got back in bed and I was like, crap, like I just realized I screwed up. So the, the next morning we sat down and I was like, Lindsay, I'm so sorry. I, I screamed. I yelled. I was I was not a good person last night. And you know what? I was like, you are right. <laughs> um, and I think I quit like a week later because uh, she's been telling me, hey, you, you just need to get out of that job. Uh, it's not, it's not good for you. You know, I can see you. She knew me better than I knew myself. And um, so that failure really made me step back and say, you know what? I did screw up. I failed, failed you as a husband, failed um, in a lot of different ways. But I was able to take a step back and talk to Lindsay and say, you know what? You are right. I, uh, I needed to take a step back. I needed to quit that job. And then soon after I joined up with you. So it was a failure that led to something really cool at the end. That's cool. That's really cool. How, how has it affected your relationship? How has that pivotal moment affected your relationship going forward? We're much better communicators now. Instead of letting things bottle up, we realized, Hey, instead of, instead of letting it get to that point, let's talk about it a couple months beforehand. So now, I mean, usually on Sundays, we sit down and just talk about this week, talk about any issues. We're not perfect by any means, but um, it's helped a lot on communication because we, we talk about what we're seeing, what we're, what we're doing, if there's any issues or stuff that uh, is kind of starting to bottle up. We talk about it a whole lot more. So it's been a, a huge blessing now to our, our marriage now that we can communicate much more effectively after that. Uh, big fight.